good morning and welcome back today let's learn how a wire block and its spool actually works so wire block uh, is actually used in hydraulic uh, circuits in hydraulic machineries uh, example back loader machines the track desk covered machines like jcb or caterpillar or lnt machines have a wire block this actually helps to channel the hydraulic flow towards each hydraulic rod for the service to work or for each uh, work to happen so if you see the operation of a jcb machine or a caterpillar machine you can see that the operator is actually holding onto the levers and moving the levers actually for uh, doing each uh, particular work if he is lifting the boom or he is uh, carrying uh, some uh, mud or sand or uh, some soil from a part uh, to be excavated or to be dosed to a section what he does he selects uh, this hydraulic lever operation uh, so that uh, the service will be carried out now let's see what happens exactly when he holds uh, towards the lever so this is the section over here this is the lever where the operator is actually holding so when he moves this lever this lever is mechanically connected towards the valve block so here we have the valve block and inside the valve block there will be a number of galleries where the hydraulic oil will be there okay and here we have the spool so this lever will be directly connected towards the spool so when we move this lever what happens is that these spools will tend to move up or tend to move down resulting in these galleries to match and the flow will be channeled through those galleries which are matching and some of the galleries will get closed so that's how the service actually reaches the hydraulic rod okay now let's have a closer look at the uh, wire block so here we have the wire block over here and here we have the spool at the center okay if we uh, have a doubt let's have the top view of this the top view it will look like this we have the wire block here like this and in the center this is a spool okay there will be many number of spools for those hydraulic circuit will have many number of actuators or like hydraulic rams there will be more number of spools over there so it will be a bigger wire block with many number of uh, spools coming in and many number of galleries inside so uh, here let's see how it works okay so this spool i have made it, uh, a design of the spool over here this is how it looks like so this is our spool okay so you can see over here there is an area with higher diameter and lesser diameter okay uh, this spool is something like this a uh, metal rod you can see it has a, di a even diameter in this area and in top if you see this uh, pen has a lesser diameter okay the same way this is how it looks like okay over here this current circuit is shown in a neutral position you can see uh, over here this is D1 D1 is of higher diameter and D2 is of lesser diameter that is D1 is greater than D2 okay, if you take it straight and see the top view over here so this is how it comes like I have shown some clearances over here with the spool and the wire block uh, there is actually no clearance like that I have just shown it for your understanding to separate the wire block from the spool so when D1 is located what happens is that the port will be completely closed so at this section if you see this port is completely closed because the high diameter is coming so if a hydraulic oil flow is coming over here what happens is that this section will be completely closed okay because D1 is located here you can see the view over here when the D1 comes over here the whole port will get closed okay and what happens is when D2 comes when this pool is moved uh, we will have D2 over here the lesser diameter area will come over here so we will have D2 over here so we will get some space over here in, uh, around the spool we will have some space you can see some space is left over here so the hydraulic oil can actually come over here and this board is actually open now as D2 is being selected so the flow will go through both the sides that means both the sides this is the connection so the flow will come like this okay this is open over here so the flow enters here and through both the sides of the D2 the flow will come and go towards the service or the required hydraulic alarm 
okay so that's how exactly a spool works okay now let's see here what happens currently this is a neutral gallery the flow coming from the hydraulic pump so we have the hydraulic pump over here so the flow comes like this it comes at this position and over here we have selected D2 that is the lesser diameter radius over here that means in this section we are not uh, holding on to the lever or moving the lever so this is uh, the neutral position so the flow will actually root through this section through the sides and go towards the tank so this service will actually go towards the hydraulic tank so that's the neutral position and when the operator is holding on the lever to move a service this spool moves if I say this spool actually moves upwards so let's lift the spool I'm lifting the spool upwards so this is our position in neutral I'm lifting it towards the upwards position so what happens is that here you can see D1 move upwards over here and D2 comes here and the neutral gallery we have the D1 spool okay so the neutral gallery gets closed over here so we have D1 the higher diameter over here the, the neutral gallery get closed so the oil coming over here cannot escape so it comes back and go through this port over here and comes like this towards this section so what we have here is the D2 of the spool which is a lesser diameter so we have space like this on both the sides so the oil will escape through these sides and come towards here this, uh, this uh, gallery over here and this gallery is directly connected towards the head side of the hydraulic rod. So some service is being selected by the operator. So the oil will come like this and enter the head side of the hydraulic rod and it push the piston over here and from the rod side the hydraulic oil will escape and comes and reaches here. You can see it comes and hits over here. This is a service that we have selected. Okay, That means this slot is open neutral is closed here you can see here also d2 is coming in so that means a lesser diameter of the spool is coming in this this slot so the return oil over here the return oil coming will come like this and will pass through the sides of the spool at this section and it will go return towards the tank so here we have the tank line coming in so that's how exactly a valve block works so this is our valve block okay the top view will come like this okay and we have a spool over here so if I drill a hole here and I can enter the spool through the hole that's how a valve block will look like so this is how exactly the valve block and the spool is coming in as I am moving the lever the spool will move up and down okay resulting in this section to move resulting in the spool to move up and down so when D1, the higher diameter comes in, the ports will be closed and as the lesser diameter area comes in, the ports will be open like this. Okay. Okay. So, I believe uh, you got an idea about the basic function or how uh, exactly the spool moves inside a valve block and how the hydraulic oil is being channeled uh, through each of these galleries. This is a basic explanation. A more clear explanation will be given in my new videos and uh, if you like this video please click the like button or do comment uh, we'll be happy to see your comments thanks for watching this video